Hey guys, it's Annie Lover. Um, this is just um, my gerbils daily routine and supplies that you're going to need if you want to get gerbils or if you have gerbils and don't really know what to do. Um, so I'll just introduce my gerbils. I have two. They're both female. They're not sisters, but they were like they came from the same cage so they're friendly with each other and they snuggle together like gerbils should do. Um, my black gerbil, her name is Jordan and I just really wanted to get a black gerbil because I've seen a lot of gerbil videos and I just think that the black, that black gerbils are just the cutest things. Um, my light brown gerbil, she's very feisty. Um, her name is Jessa. And I just think that she was really, really cute, and I really wanted her. Um, yeah, so Jessa is more of the chewer. She loves to chew, and she loves to run on the wheel. They both love the wheel, but Jessa's more of a wheel type. Um, Jordan is more of the digger. She loves to dig and make tunnels and dig under all her houses and get mommy really mad. Um, so I'll just walk you through what I do every day. Um, first I always check the water bottle to see the um, like how full it is. You can kind of see there's a ducky right there at the top. That little yellow thing is a ducky and it floats and shows you how much water there is. They conserve water so they're not going to drink, they don't drink that much. Um, I fill up the water every day just because I don't want it to get stale. Um, as you can see, Jessa is eating in her food bowl. Um, you're supposed to give each gerbil one tablespoon of food a day. So I give them one tablespoon twice a day. So I would put one tablespoon of their food inside of um, their bowl, and then when that's done, I put another tablespoon in, like later on in the day. I'll show you their food. Um, here it is. This is their food container. It says Jessa and Jordan's food. Um, there's just a whole bunch of seeds, and there's pellets, and there's just um, some good nutritious stuff in here. The package also came with a lot of fatty foods, which is really good. I think it's really good because I can use those instead of having to buy treats. So I could just buy the food, and I would have a good supply of treats. Here, this is a how much a full bag has. So a full bag, like one bag of food has this has this much treats. Jessa and Jordan's treats. Um the kind of food I have, I have great choice hamster and gerbil food. I'll go get the bag and show you what that looks like. You can you can just watch the gerbils. Okay, so it looks like this. Great choice. Great choice. Hamster and gerbil food. Nutritionally, re, nutritionally balanced diet. Technically, it is a very balanced diet since it gives you the treats too. But um, what they would do, because they're sneaky little fellas, they would um, eat all the fatty foods that they like and then bury all the other foods and you would think that they're eating it all but they're just eating the fatty foods so you're going to keep refilling their bowl and they're going to keep doing that so you need to make sure to take out all the fatty foods and just give them the good food so they don't um, do that with it
So the bedding that I use, I use Aspen bedding. Um, you can't really see how much I have in here. I don't have that much. I'm probably going to put some more in the next time that I clean their cage. This time I just kind of wanted to save some, but they, but it turns out that they really like to dig. So I'll probably put like one huge pile of bedding in like one corner and the rest will have like a flat surface. Um, and we'll see how that works out. They love toilet paper tubes. You can see all the white toilet paper tubes. There's only two, but I cut one in half, so it looks like there's three, but there isn't. Um, their wheel is a super silent wheel. It's regular sized. It's not small and it's not large. It's regular sized. And um, I picked purple because purple is my favorite color and I think that it matches both of their like fur colors. So I really like that color. The water bottle is a Super Pet 8 ounce with, I already told you, the duck at the top. Um, the aquarium I have, I used to house fish in it and then I housed a baby turtle in it. Um, it's a 10, 10 gallon aquarium. And I bought a, because since it was an aquarium, it came with a different lid that was meant for aquariums. So I bought a terrarium lid. You can get them at PetSmart, at like any store that sells reptiles and reptile equipment. Um, yeah, it doesn't have like an opening, so I have to keep taking, like, putting on and off the lid, which isn't that great for me, but it works. As long as it works, that's all that matters to me. Um, their housing. Their housing. I'm using a drumstick box, which is what um, Jessa just came out of. The blue, a blue drumstick box, and I put a whole bunch of shavings inside and on top of it. And on top of it, that little hut, um, that's a wear hay hideout. I got that at PetSmart. Um, they love to chew on it. I would show you, but I would have to take the lid off, and I would have to take the water bottle off. And I have a lamp up there just so you could see it better, see the whole aquarium better. So I'll show you how much they've chewed it already in another video. Um, yeah, you can see Jessa running on the wheel. And they always take turns because they're <laughs> really cute. In the back, you can't see it, so I'll show you another one. One second. I have wooden um, blocks like this. This is yellow. I have a pink one inside of their aquarium. And I have a little critter keeper. I thought that I would need it for when I brought them home from the pet store. But it turns out they give you one. So I just have that critter keeper as extra. Whenever I'm cleaning their cage, I, I'll, I'll put them in there. So I have a pink one of these little wooden blocks in there. I have a blue one in the Critter Keeper because it matches the top of the Critter Keeper which is also blue. Um, and I have this yellow one, I have an orange one, and I have a green one. They haven't chewed them at all yet so I don't think they will. But I mean there's a whole bunch of other stuff that they can chew to wear down their teeth so I'm not really worried about that. Um, let me show you the type of aspen I have. I'll be back one second. I have to go all the way over there to their shelf, which is on the other side of my room. Okay, so I have Living World Aspen Shavings. They are Super abs absorbent bedding, ideal nesting material for small animals, whatever. Hypoallergenic, that's good. Uh, yeah, so aspen shavings. Aspen is the best. If you can't find aspen for some reason or like you just don't want that, I think that um, Carefresh is the next best thing because it's absorbent and it just doesn't have 
it's not dusty or anything like that. Next best thing is corn cob, but that's a little bit dusty. Do not use pine or cedar because those are very bad for gerbils. Do not, under any circumstances, use pine or cedar shavings. So that's all for bedding. Next is Timothy Hay. Um, I gave them some Timothy Hay yesterday. It's all mixed in with their bedding and I have seen them chewing on them. Um, chewing on pieces that they've been finding. I use Nature's Promise Western Timothy Hay, and as it's, it's a, for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, prairie dogs, and other small animals. Um, so yeah, I just use this. I put a little bit in every couple days because it's good for their digestive system. And when you see that they're getting oily. I um, use critter bath powder, which you just pour about a half of an inch into a small bowl, and you just lay it in their cage for about 10 minutes, and they will go wild. They will jump in it, and they will roll around, and seeing them roll around in the dust is just the cutest thing ever. It will eventually go away, because I know that Jordan, my black gerbil, will temporarily get like whitish gray because the dust is like white. So don't worry, it will like just get off, like come off of the of their fur, and it makes them really smooth and soft because you don't want them to get greasy. A lot of people say two times a week to give them dust baths, but um, I prefer once a week just I don't know just because I just prefer once a week a little treat for them so um oh I'll show you their critter keeper yeah. okay so here's their critter keeper As you see the block inside and I have um, toilet paper and I have a paper towel or a toilet paper roll in it. There's a little lid at the top. Open and close. When they see it and they first go in it, they don't like it, but then after they calm down, they just start chewing on the toilet paper roll. Um, for like nesting material, with which my dribbles do not use at all, um, well, so far. I use toilet paper. I just rip some off and throw it in there. And but they don't use it. They just prefer um, either the just cardboard ground or just the aspen. Um. So yeah, you saw what I have as the um, as their house. But I have a couple others. I just have some cardboard boxes that are like small. I have a tissue, a tissue box, and I have just any cardboard boxes. I have a really big supply of toilet paper rolls and um, paper towel rolls, just because like they chew on those a lot. Um, and you just really want to check and see that your gerbils are there, because sometimes they they might somehow get out of their cage or aquarium or whatever and you just really want to check and see if they're safe um, so yeah you want to check the water every day you want to check their food you want to make sure that their wheel is running that it's not up against the wall or that it's not jammed or something because they need exercise because they're very active um, and you just want to make sure that they have something to chew on as long as it's cardboard for the least, wood is very good because it's hard and it'll wear down their teeth because their teeth are constantly growing so they need something to um, chew on every day, all the time. Their wear hay hideout, it's wear hay so it's, um, at, it's like they can ingest it and they can like eat it and chew on it and that's good for them. Um, so that's pretty much all you really need to know. Me, um, 
Jessa and Jordan. Thank you for watching this video. And we'll see you in another one. Bye.